This is AT&T. Uh, no, this is not AT&T. Yep, please hang up the phone. What's that? Hang up the phone. You called me, why do I gotta hang up the phone? Don't worry about it, just hang up the phone. Don't be a contrarian about it, just take that finger of yours and hit the red off button on your phone and hang it up. Now I don't understand why you got a wrong number and you're being rude to me. I don't understand why you won't just hang up your goddamn phone. Just hang it up, it's that easy. Look at me sitting in your head rent free. Because you won't hang up your damn phone. I don't care. I'm just sitting here working. Hang it up. Now, so I got nothing better to do. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Just hang up the damn phone. You'll have two nothings better to do. Well, I would have hung up if you wouldn't have been a dick, but now I got all night. Oh, yeah, really? Hmm? Yeah, you got a phone you can hang up right now. Just hang it up. Take that phone, set it softly down in the receiver until you hear the click. And then pick the phone back up, and you can make you can start receiving incoming calls again. You can't do that right now. Not with me sitting on the line. So just hang up the phone. That's okay. I don't need to receive any incoming calls right now. Well, aren't you special? Just hang up the phone. Nah, I'm good. You go ahead and talk. Oh yeah, I'm good too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope. Hang it up. Man, you must really need a hobby. I don't need shit, motherfucker. Just hang up the damn phone. Why do you need me to hang up the phone? Don't worry about it. Hang up. Up too. You called the wrong number. Why do you need to be such a damn contrarian about it? Maybe you just decide to hang up because you get frustrated. Then what? Then you've hung up the phone. Same as I've been asking you to do the whole damn time. So just hang it up. Hang up the damn phone. So you got nothing better to do than call wrong numbers and then yell at them to hang up the phone. Don't worry about whether I got anything better to do. Just hang up the phone. Don't worry about my life or what's going on on the other end of your telephone that you can just sit there and hang up. Just hang it up. Dun, 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 I routed this call through Trinidad. That's a buck thirty a minute billed right to your line. You called me, stupid. I don't care if you routed it through Trinidad or not, it still goes to you. You picked up. This ain't no collect call. I know it's not a collect call. Yeah, so hang up the damn phone, smart ass. You know all your fucking kinds of calls, hang it up. This is episode one of RT's Anal Show, with me, RT. Hello. Uh, hello, this is the front desk from the Yeah. Hi, uh, we just wanted to let you know that you are the thousandth customer this year. Ah. You won! What? You won! You won a free... You know how we only usually change your linens one time for the time you stay here? You want a free extra linen change? You're the thousandth customer in this year. And we just wanted to say congratulations from the front desk. Okay, thank you. Yep, you get a free linen change, a free, uh, you know the vending machines in the hallway? Mm Mm-hmm. Just rattle them. Just rattle them until they drop product, and we will not get mad. We promise not to get mad, because you are the thousandth customer we've had this year. I love it. I love this song. Thank you for calling. Your call has been answered by the hotel's automated... Please hold a moment. <laughs> Hello. Hello, this is the front desk calling from Days In. Yeah. Hi. Uh, we just wanted to call and let you know that we have had a couple complaints of a strong marijuana odor coming from either side of both of the rooms to either side of you have called us and let us know that there is a strong marijuana odor coming out of your room. Okay. I mean, you kind of sound stoned right now, so I'm not surprised. I- 
I just woke up, sir. I'm sorry. I was about oh. to work at 5.30 in the morning. Oh, man. What a bitch, huh? Yeah, well, just don't smoke weed in our place. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm... We'll do. Yeah. Alright, sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else you need me to do, or...? Uh, yes. Can you please come up to the front office? And right we... Now? Yeah. Alright. Thanks. Can you give me a minute, I'll be... Yeah. Alright, much appreciated. Dial 104. Your call has been answered by the... I'm going to try... Hold a moment. They're about to transfer right over there anyway. I'll dial the 105 myself. For some reason, it just didn't work. Hello? Uh, hi, this is the front desk calling from room 104. Hi. Uh, we just wanted to let you know the, uh, there's been a couple complaints from the rooms on either side of yours about marijuana order. Oh, I don't smoke anything. It's not coming from me. Oh, oh, okay. We just wanted to make sure. No, I don't smoke anything. Yeah, they said it. <laughs> yeah, I don't even it's smell been anything. It's been everywhere. It's like Cheech, it's like a Cheech and Chong music video walking past your door. I'm so, like, we just have to be, um, it's hotel policy here that we are frank with guests when complaints like this arrive. And you yeah. won! Congratulations! Yeah. You won! Yeah. You're the 1,000th person to smoke marijuana at our fucking at our motel! Yay! Yay! And I come in and see that I don't smoke. There's nothing in my room at all. I don't even smell the outside. Okay. Well, let's do that, because you want to want a free ounce. <laughs> yeah, we're doing, a, we're doing a promo. We're doing a promo with Turkey Hill for free ounces for everyone who smokes. The free, for every 1,000th person that we catch smoking marijuana in the day's end. Well, I'll take the turkey hill ice cream, but you can keep the marijuana. No, 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 <laughs> no, not turkey hill ice cream, just the turkey hill. Oh, darn, just, okay. Just a couple, couple, couple buildings down the road from here. Yeah, I um, went there this morning for coffee. Yeah, dum-dum. Yeah, dum-dum. Um, okay, that's cool. Yep, but no, there's, I mean, I don't smell anything here. Yeah, I, well, I, we all, I'm sorry, but we all do. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's been reported from both rooms, uh, the one, room 104. Six. Walked right over here a moment ago and let us know about it. So it might be actually coming from them. Maybe they're projecting. And maybe they're, <laughs> you know, maybe they're saying. I mean, you are welcome. To, I mean, I'm in my nightgown, but you're welcome to come in and see. I can throw jeans on. You're welcome to come in and see that I don't have anything smoking. Well, well, we wouldn't need to come in. It's the, the stench, the absolute stench in the hallway outside your door is enough to. But I'll take your word for it this time. Just don't let that happen. I will. Well, I don't even have a hallway. I'm in, I'm downstairs. Oh, yeah. I, I don't have a hallway. I'm downstairs, so... Yeah. No, no, we know. We meant, we meant the hallway to the outside, outside of your door. Oh, okay, because I'm thinking, this is weird. Um, yeah. 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 No. Well, I mean, it would be. Yeah. <laughs> Think how much weirder it would be if you were sober, huh? Yeah, that'd be even weirder, you know, yeah. but... Since I am sober, it's kind of like, what the heck? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, it's weird because um, my friend just dropped off. Hey, 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 hey. Do you lose track of time a lot? Like, do you have times in the day where you just have, like, 15 or 30 minutes that just seem to go nowhere? Not at all. It could be one of those kinds of things. It could be, like, from Horse Girl. Have you seen that? Uh, no, I have not. Oh, really good. Okay. Okay. I'll have to see that, but, yeah, like I said, I have... I okay. literally had my door open two seconds ago because a friend just swung by. Yeah, we, we know. We can tell. It's bad enough when you have your door closed, and then when you got it open, it just billows. Okay, yeah, but it ain't yeah. me. Sorry. Yeah, it's I'm... been before. Okay, bye. All right, bye. California consumers. To learn about what personal information we collect and how we use it, please see our privacy policy at motel. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, how can I help you? Hi, I'm a delivery driver with the Domino's. I'm trying to call back a person who placed a order from your Motel 6. Okay. Room 203. Okay. I just need to call and confirm with them the uh, order again. 
You don't have to go through me. You can just hit the extension and reach them. Oh, where do I dial that? If you listen to the prompt, it'll ask you if there's an extension. Oh, it said for reaching a guest or the front desk to hit three. Sorry. Yeah, I don't transfer anybody at 4.30 in the morning, so I don't care where you're from. I'm not transferring you to a guest at 4.30 in the morning. I'm from the the pizza. I'm from the pizza. I'm from the pizza, though. That's great. Then you'll have to go through the prompt. Have a good day. What's the number? What's the Hello? Hello, this is the front desk. Yes? Hi, we just wanted to let you know you're the thousandth customer this year. The in. And you want a free Kindle Fire valued at $500. Excuse me? The free! You just gotta come down and pick it up at the front desk. Uh, I'm back. Right, right now. Please. Right now. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yep. I'm fast asleep. No yank, because you're on the phone. So come on down and get your free Kindle. Okay, no thanks. Bye now. Yep, go do it. Do it or no more residency. No more residency if you don't. Front desk. So this call was a bit of a doozy. I called a random room at this inn pretending to be the front desk. Then I misheard what the guy said and thought I accidentally called the front desk myself. The rest of the call is me trying to save face and pretend I'm calling from a room. All I end up doing is confusing the hell out of this guy. Hello? Hi! Hi, we're calling for front desk. Uh, this isn't the front desk. Yeah! I'm calling from room 108. I just wanted to call and let you know that I got a really weird phone call a moment ago. Okay. It was not for me. Oh, well, it came from your caller ID, so I just figured. Uh, nope. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It must have been someone spoofing your caller ID. Okay, so this is a, a motel, or a hotel. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm staying here right now. I'm in room 108. Okay. Uh, it was not me, though. Alright, uh, well, thank you for clearing up any confusion. Have a great rest of your night. Yep, take care. Thank you for calling the roadway in. This is Isaac speaking. How can I help you? Hi, I'm calling from the pizza here in I'm just calling back to confirm an order with a guest that placed an order from the roadway in a couple moments ago. From room 101. I don't have that room at... Oh, sorry, uh, 111. And you're confirming what now? They just placed an order here, and the order didn't go through on our end, so I'm trying to reach the guests so they can reconfirm their details. What was the name of the caller? Uh, 111. I I realize that. Do you know the name of the caller? Uh, They didn't give a name, just a room number. I unfortunately cannot put calls through unless you know the person you're calling. Ah... Yeah, that's a legality, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a legality that, like, maybe a quarter of hotels follow, trust me. Yeah, I've been here 14 years. It's why I've been here that long. Oh, there you go. Concierge. <laughs> yeah, I follow it. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely yeah. absolutely follow it. Yeah, um, yeah. Hey, maybe, maybe, try to get, maybe try to get a, little, a job more prestigious than a roadway in, then, if you're such a right. goddamn professional. Right, but, you know, let's bash yeah. each other's profession, dude. Yeah. Because you have a great one. Have a yep. great day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Please hold. There may be a silence while your call is transferred. Hello. Hi, this is the front desk here at Yeah. I'm going to let you know that we've had a couple of complaints of marijuana odor from the rooms on either side of you. On uh, which side? Uh, 205 and uh, 206. They're both saying that every time they walk past your door, they can smell marijuana and that there is, uh, you know, visible traces of marijuana vapor Uh, in the air. When they walk past my door? Yes. 
Well, you come down here right now and you sniff around and you sniff. No, no, nope. no, sir. Hide. You you come down here right now. Well, why do you want me to come down there? So you can explain yourself. We don't appreciate marijuana smokers in our hotel. And you're causing a nuisance for the other guests. Listen, I don't smoke marijuana. No, you listen. Come down to the front desk and we can sort this out. Motherfucker. Huh? Come down to the front desk and we can please sort this out. What did you call me? Uh, I must have been the phone acting up. No, it wasn't the phone acting up. Oh, who are you? I'm calling from the front desk. Uh, where's Harry? Harry's off tonight. And you're taking, uh, you're, uh, filling in? Yeah, I'm the dishwasher over at Rusty Keg. I'm working here tonight. Well, the, the marijuana smell, I think, comes from Rusty Keg. Nope, that is 100% coming from your room. Pardon? That is 100% coming from your room, sir. We've had complaints from 205, 207, and we've had several noise complaints from 106 right underneath you about bouncing up and down on the bed. Uh, this is a bunch of bullshit. Nah, I'm, sir. I'm not even here half the time. You're here tonight, aren't you? Huh? You're here tonight, aren't you? I just come in. Motherfucker. You're calling me a motherfucker. I didn't say that. No, sir. Nothing of the sort. So come right on down to the front desk and let's sort this out. Quit just breathing into the phone like a creep. Come have a talk. Quit just breathing into the phone like a creepo. Come have a talk. I, I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, I didn't hear that, but you could hear me perfectly fine mumbling and somehow accuse me of saying the, the mother word. Just get your shit together and quit smoking in our motel. Huh? Just get your shit together and quit smoking in our motel. Get your shit together. Hey, hey buddy. You sound a little old for smoking the marijuana anyway. I don't smoke marijuana. I, ne I never smoked marijuana. Never in your whole life? Uh, maybe one time in Vietnam. Yeah, I bet you didn't inhale, right? Uh, yeah, like Clinton. So just... How often, how often do you... Uh, uh, handle the front desk over here. Is this your first time? Oh, yeah. My uncle made me come out tonight. Huh? My uncle made me come out tonight. You think I want to be here? Your uncle made you come out? Yeah. How did your uncle make you come out? I live with him. Huh? I live with him. And he made you come over here? He made me come do a shift tonight. He's a friend of Harry's. Oh. Yes, Harry needed the night off. Huh? Harry needed the night off. He's out of town. He's over to Columbus for the night. A uh don't tell his wife though. Huh? Don't tell his wife. Don't tell his wife. Yeah. It's on the hush crush. Yeah, uh, you got brain problems, buddy. Oh yeah? Well you're the one smoking marijuana in our motel. How old are you? 18. Huh? 18. You're 18? Yep. You need to uh, you need to grow up a little bit. Hey, give me time. Huh? Come down to the front desk. Let's sort this out. Well, what uh, what good is it going to come me to come down to the front desk? Because then I can sniff you and see whether or not you're lying about smoking the reefer. Okay. That's a long walk for me, but I'll walk down there. Hurry up. Chop, chop. Thank you for calling. Your call has been answered by the hotel's automated attendant. Hello? Hi, I'm calling from the front desk here. And I'm filling in for Harry tonight. Uh, I just wanted to call and let you know, uh, we've had a couple complaints of illegal music possibly being downloaded through our Wi-Fi coming from, uh, it looks like your hotel room here, number 106. Illegal music download? Yeah, like uh, MP3 files, um, YouTube, music clones, uh, Napster, LimeWire. 
I pay for a, a YouTube premium. Yeah. That streams my playlist. Yeah, we actually got a call from Google just a couple of months ago about unauthorized downloading, and they said that it was localized to. Um, let me just check the report again, real real quick, right here. Yeah, room one zero uh, six here at the in. Oh well, I'm sorry. I haven't downloaded anything. I can turn it off if you want me to. I just uh, had my playlist playing. Oh, do you, do you mind just uh, coming by the front desk real quick and just letting us uh, call us from your phone real quick? Call from my phone what? Call the uh, front desk here from your, if you can come to the front desk and then call the front desk from your phone. That way we know that that phone is registered to you and we can let them know that we have the phone on file and that we know that it's not illegally downloading. I guess. All right, thanks. Thanks. Hi, I'm calling from the pizza. I'm calling to return a call about uh, order for delivery. Huh? From uh, room 202. 202? Yes. Uh, we have no room like that. Oh, uh, it, I think it was just two. They uh, they just left an uh, order for us, and we're trying to return the call for them. We don't think they actually wanted uh, any order that we get that has anchovies. We have to call back and make sure that they actually wanted that. And they said, uh, I think they said room two. Uh, one or two? Yes. Yeah? Yep. What happened? Uh, what do you require, sir? Uh, yeah, I, could, I, could you just patch me through to them? We need to call and confirm their order. No, they are uh, check out two days before. Oh, uh, sorry, 302. 302? Yes. Uh, I can't forward now this number because their phone is not working. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I just hold on. I will give you number. Oh, thank you. you. Call directly to them. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 860. 60. 860. Oh, uh, 860. Yep. 333. 333. 3330. 3330. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sir. The what? His name is. Yep. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, he, okay. le he, yeah, he left that in the, uh, in the message for us, too. He uh, specifically asked for a pizza with an ounce of marijuana on the side. So we will be by in about an hour with the pizza and the fresh ounce of cannabis marijuana. Okay. And two grams of dabs. Yeah. For what purpose? Uh, the uh, the caller from that the caller uh, request uh, delivery order from our pizza store. I'm calling from the the Domino's here in. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we'll be we'll we have love our Domino's pizza on the way in about thirty minutes, and our Domino's dank marijuana ounce on our way in thirty minutes. Okay. And would you also like an ounce of marijuana for yourself? Because you're this is actually the thousandth time that this hotel has placed a delivery order for marijuana from us this year. So we do a special thousandth. Uh, the, mar the Midnight Marijuana Madness Giveaway. Um, every time we get our thousandth marijuana order from a hotel, um, we send them a free extra ounce of marijuana, or two ounces total, I should say. One ounce for the person that placed the call, and one ounce for uh, you or whoever you know owns. I'm assuming you're the owner of this motel. Okay, you can do uh, whatever. Uh, do you have a Do you have a preference, indica or sativa? No, I am front desk worker. Yes. Yes, you get the free ounce of marijuana. Do you prefer indica or sativa? No, you have to talk with the owner. Well, uh, well, yeah, but you, you also, it's the bonus. You get a free ounce of marijuana also. So you prefer sativa, indica, both ways, hybrid, dabs, or do you like... Um, different like a particular strain of marijuana we got granddaddy perp we got sour diesel we got um you know pretty much any strain under the sun nothing from canada though no no yes 
it's mandatory midnight marijuana madness multi jamboree and that's a free ounce for you and the ounce that we're delivering to the in room 207 and an ounce for the owner but you also get an ounce because it's the bonus night a free ounce of the purest marijuana it's the midnight marijuana madness thanks for giving me that dude's phone number by the way yeah you call on that number yeah yeah and i'll and I'll, I'll let him know about the free extra marijuana that he's getting and that you're also getting you know what marijuana is right huh you know what, have you, are you familiar with marijuana m a r i j u a n a no oh it's um it's it's a drug it's a it's a leafy plant drug that you smoke oh. and it makes you high and we're bringing an ounce of that to the person because they were the dominoes here in does that we do that as like a side business and since this is the thousandth marijuana order that's been placed from your inn uh this year we have decided to just go ahead and throw an extra ounce your way so free drugs Woo-hoo. and free drugs okay, you call on that phone yeah i'm gonna call that phone and i'm gonna give him the, i'm gonna give him the marijuana and then i'm gonna also have my delivery driver come into the front desk and hand you your free ounce of drugs. No, I yes. don't want Yes. Mandatory, yeah, mandatory, mandatory midnight madness marijuana multifaceted no, multitudes. Have no problem. We have thousands. Not take drugs. Yes. Yep. Well, that's why they called. That's why they called Domino's. They wanted no. they wanted the pizza. I, I not call. Yes, they wanted the pizza. No, the person from the room with the yeah, uh, with the with the uh, eight them. six zero three 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 number. They yeah, called. You yeah, they them. yeah they called us and they placed an order for one large anchovy pizza and one ounce of dank drugs. Oh, whatever you want to do. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, we have no any requirement. Well, yeah. Well, I have a requirement. We have to drop these off somewhere. So we'll be leaving. Um, if you won't accept them at the front desk, we'll just go ahead and put one in the mailbox for the motel. And we'll just leave the other. Uh, we'll sprinkle it all over the driveway. How does that sound? And we'll sprinkle the drugs. Sprinkle, tinkle, tinkle. And we'll eat the pizza and we'll smoke all the drugs in your driveway. And thanks again for giving me that guy's phone number. Can you transfer me to his room, by the way? What? Can you transfer me to that person's room? I can't forward this number, uh, phone. Can you just put the put the call through on the other line? No. <sighs> yep. Well, I told the delivery driver at the beginning of this call that we're all set for the go ahead so he should actually be pulling up to the front desk any second now with the two large anchovy pizzas and total of four ounces now of uh, marijuana drugs for um, the hotel guest and you yourself as the front desk worker are going to be given drugs and the front take any drugs yes sorry yes and the front desk is going to be handed drugs no and there's going to be drugs we're bringing gallons we're bringing just gallons and gallons of weed bud 420 are you familiar with 420 sir 420 <laughs> thank you for calling if you know your party's three digit room number hello hi i'm calling from the front desk here at Hi. Um, sorry to interrupt you uh, so early in the morning, but we've had several complaints about marijuana odor coming from either side of your room. Oh, not us. Yep. From 102 and 104. They've said that every time it's uh, so bad in the hallway right now, they have to plug their nose and run every time they go in front of your door. And so we just like you to, you don't need to cut, you don't need to stop smoking marijuana at the entirely. We just ask that you keep it to um, less dank strains or smoke outside. We're not smoking marijuana. I mean, it's 
it's very blatant. We, we've we got marijuana sensors in all the rooms. It's dinging green in our front office. You're calling 103? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, room, one, room 103 here at the... Right. And we have our we have Lincoln Green marijuana detector lights going off in the front desk for 103 and 107. Huh. All right. So we'd just like to ask you to please tone it down a little bit. And again, you don't have to stop smoking entirely. Just find some like find some brick weed or something that isn't quite as dank. Get something. All right, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma no one's accusing you of anything. We're just saying okay, that the marijuana right. sensor is going off in the front desk for room 103. It's a blinking right. green strobe light. It's playing the song Hits from the Bong. That that song from, like, 1989. Remember that song? da na na da da na 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 You know the song that, you know, uh, you know the song Son of a Preacher Man? You know the beginning of that song? You know the song that uses that and then it's about weed? This next call was all one single call, where they let me guess a room number four or five times until I finally found a guest. Hi, I'm calling from the Domino's here in... Domino's? Yes. Uh-huh. And we're just trying to call back and reach a guest who just placed an order with us a couple of moments ago. We need to verify a couple of details about the order. One minute, hold down. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi, I'm calling from Domino's. We're just trying to reach a guest who placed an order with us a couple of minutes ago from your hotel. Uh, 102. They just give a room number. 102, there's nobody in 102. Uh, sorry, 202. There's nobody in 202. I don't have any room in 202. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, 112. Alright, hold on. Thank you. Hi, um, uh, I'm calling from Domino's Pizza here in... And, yeah, hello? No answer. Oh, yeah. 113? You tried, you, you called room 113 and they did not answer? No, you called 112? Uh, no, 113. Okay, I can so. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hi. Huh? Hello? Model. Hi, can you please transfer me to room 114? I'm calling from Domino's. Model. Oh, hi, I'm calling from Domino's Pizza. Could you please transfer me to room 116? Hello? Oh, hi, I'm calling from the front desk here at the hotel. Hi, um, we just wanted to call, I just started my shift, uh, 15 minutes ago, and they're having me call, I, sorry, this is my first night here, um, they're having me call all the rooms, and make sure that everyone has put on their hand sanitizer for the day, and they're having me call once an hour on the hour. Okay. So, can you, can you verify for me, have you put on your hand sanitizer today? Sure did. Alright, can you just give a, give, give me another nice big squirt right now? And yeah. can you put the phone up to it so I can hear it? Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? Yes. It's a new thing. The owner asked me to do this. Call all the rooms. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Did you hear that? Uh, no. Uh, the phone cut out for a moment. Can you do that again? Uh, we're showing on the cameras that you were just squeezing an empty, uh, empty water bottle there. Showing on the cameras? Yeah. What cameras? The, the room cameras. The security cameras. What security cameras? The, the ones that we have for insurance purposes. The ones that we're legally mandated to have by the state for insurance purposes. What? Yeah. Is it recording me right now? All motels in Ohio have them. Isn't that illegal? No. I'm going to check into that. Well, come on down to the front desk. Bring some hand, hand sanitizer. I ain't got none. Barney's. Congratulations. I'm calling from the corporate office of Barney's Convenience Mart. Hi, how you doing? 
if we just on the security camera, your one millionth customer at that location for 2020 just walked through the door. One millionth customer. Congratulations to the location. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you. Uh, do you mind if we do a quick survey with that one millionth customer? Hello? Hi, are you the customer? Mm, what customer are you talking about? I, the one millionth customer. We just saw the one millionth customer walk into your Barney's Convenience Mart location. Oh, no, uh, I'm an employee at Barney's. Oh, can you, uh, we'd like to do a survey with the customer if that's okay. Um, the current thing that we are, like, full at the moment, there really is no customers available. There's no one standing outside the store you can go get? Uh, well, hold up, there's a customer right here. Um, oh, 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 thank you, thank you so much. About the store. Tell them about the store. Hello? Hello, hi, is this the customer? Yes, sir. Hi, I just need to ask you a quick couple of questions. You're the one millionth customer at that location for uh for twenty twenty for this year. What is Congratulations. It? Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, we just wanted to ask you a couple of quick questions. This is gonna take about forty seconds and uh, at the end you get a free slice of pizza and a either a coke or one beer of your choice out of a six pack. Oh, for free. You going to question something? You yes, can... yes. Okay, I so. I not, not really well speak English. On a scale from 2 to 14, how would you rate the cleanliness of the store? That's a good store. Of the store you're currently in, on a scale from 2 to 14, where 6 is the worst and 8 is the best. How clean would the store location you are currently in, how would you rate that? I don't know. Wrong. Uh, Just say a number. Uh, ten. Ten. Thank you very much. Okay, if you could please hand the phone back to the uh, employee. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, that's a free, a free Pepsi, a free two-liter Pepsi, and a free whole pepperoni pizza of your choice. Uh, or a beer if you don't drink Pepsi. Uh, one beer. Okay. One beer. <laughs> And one mushroom pizza of your choice. Okay, one mushroom pizza. Yes. And if you could just please go ahead and hand the phone back to the employee so that we can uh, tabulate your results. Okay, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Okay, he, he's gone now. He's gone, he's gone. Did you give him his free beer and free uh, one liter pepperoni pizza? We don't have the pizza here. Oh, okay. Uh, I need you to send him down to the next location. And I need you to send him to the nearest Barney's Convenience Mart that does sort of sell pizza. Okay, that was, I think that one, the one that's close to us, I believe, would be on. Okay, if you could just call that location at let them know that he will be on his way to pick up his one free slice of pizza. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. You too. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. RTO.